Alright, what's going on YouTube family? What you're going to be watching throughout this commentary are some clips from my recent pool workout. So back and biceps, lots of volume, lots of supersets. I'll sort of go over it in a second, but there's so much I want to fill you guys in on. Uh, this past weekend, Derek, myself, Joe, and Daniel, so four of us actually went on a guy's trip. So Joe and Daniel planned it all out. Derek and I had no idea where we were going. We had no idea what to expect. They just said, hey, on Friday, we're going to pick you guys up and be ready for a car ride, and we're going to enjoy the weekend. So we ended up going to Lake Charles. Now, the cool thing about Lake Charles, it's in Louisiana, which is right next to Texas. It's about a, about a two-hour drive uh, from where we're at in Houston. And so we, you know, we got in the car, we drove, and in Lake Charles, gambling is legal. In Texas, gambling is illegal. <laughs> and so we went to the Golden Nugget Hotel and an incredible resort, just tons and tons of food and restaurants, a ginormous pool with the lazy river and huge casino. So uh, I have been gambling one time in Vegas last year at the Olympia and it, I feel like you couldn't get the full experience because we were sort of rushed and you couldn't sit down for hours and just enjoy it. And so um, we all just had an amazing time. If you guys are curious, I'm definitely a blackjack guy. Uh, I love playing blackjack. That's where I do pretty well. And then as a team, <laughs> we'll eventually, you know, we'll kind of go and mess around with roulette and just if one person goes black, we all go black. If one person goes red, we all go red. And just so freaking fun, guys. Had an amazing time. Uh, if you're also wondering, Joe, Daniel, oh, I'm sorry, Daniel, Derek, and myself all came out on top. So we did make a good, a decent amount of money. Uh, we pretty much doubled our money, and then Joe lost a little bit. So. Um, I feel like when you go gambling, you can't really think of it that way. You have to think of you set some money aside if you want to set money aside and just enjoy it, have fun with it. Um, and you know, you can't be mad if you lose a little bit. And you know, obviously, you're gonna be happier if you win. But um, I think you just kind of pay for the experience and making memories and stuff. So it was awesome. But getting back to this workout, like I said, lots of supersets, lots of volume. Uh, I find that I've been finding that with my back training specifically. So. I'm not big on supersetting my chest too much or uh, my legs too much. I like doing more straight sets there, but with my back, I'm really enjoying supersetting and just getting more volume in. So first exercise, I supersetted a pull down with a high row sort of thing where you put your leg on the, um, on the lat pull down machine and pull up where it's a little bit more of your upper back. And then the second exercise was a, uh, horizontal row, a cable row. Uh, yes, here's a physique update. Currently weighing in, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, 182 to 184 pounds or so in the morning. So I am pretty heavy right now. Uh, still seeing the abs. I still see some uh, definition, a few striations. It, it's just hard, guys. After competing and really getting down to those lower body fat levels, I would say, I would say at my leanest, I was like a six and a half to seven percent body fat. Um, it's hard to feel lean or feel shredded after being that lean, um, but I'm definitely happy with how I look right now. Now, the goal the next few months is really to continue growing, continue focusing on building muscle and gaining strength, primarily just focusing on hypertrophy, getting volume in, and being sure my lifts are increasing over time and focusing on progressive overload. Now, with that said, I am excited. I'm so freaking excited to compete next year, uh, looking at late summer. I want to compete, but I want to do a longer prep. So instead of 12, 13 weeks, I want to do anywhere from 15 to 17 weeks, probably like a four month prep, take my time and just get leaner than I've ever been, uh, tackle a new division. I want to try classic physique. I also want to do men's physique again. So it'd be interesting to actually prep for two different divisions at one time, work on the posing routines for both divisions. And it's going to be an awesome experience, guys. So um, like I said, focusing on a lot of volume on my training right now, and I'll be sure to go more into depth on the next few videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. I want you all to know that I appreciate all of your support, uh, every comment, every like, every view so freaking much. My goal is to help as many people as I can, and I wouldn't be here without you guys. All right, guys, so here with Nikki Blackater, and uh, we just had a team meeting for about an hour, hour and a half. It's currently 1045. We're headed back to the town home because at 11, our dogs are coming back. Nala and Knox got dropped off at school when we went to Canada. So they've, they've been there for a little bit over two weeks now. So they come back today at 11 and we're gonna catch up on all the new training and everything that they went through. Yeah, hope they're better. <laughs> thoughts, what are your thoughts? I think they're gonna be 70 soon. <laughs> I think that 
I don't they're think gonna they're gonna walk in the door and jump on it. They're, yeah, they're they're not gonna be exactly the same. I think. Uh, well, I don't, don't know. even remember us. I'm so excited. What if they're like kind of growling at them? Like, who are, who are you? <laughs> and I'll get them. We're not supposed to react when they come in. We have to we have to ignore them. All right, let's record this. Let's record it. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Good girl. Good girl. Hey, what's up, Nala? Hi. Nope. What's your collar? I put a pink collar on Nala when and got it. I got Nox a uh, bright orange, I think. Is it good enough? All right, we're about to hit 365 pounds. Today I want to work in the lower rep range, three to five reps, so let's see how it feels. Here we go. Not sure what happened there. I wanted three to five. I got seven because I felt like I had. I still felt like I had a lot more in the tank. 365 pounds for seven. By far, all-time PR. Come on. Yo, come on. Come on, Good. let's go. Let's go. Run up. Ty. I'm currently helping Charlie out with his prep. Uh, a little, right up about four weeks out. And this is Charlie. Oh, Sam, right, I'm gonna show the, show the physique real quick. Started a very late prep, but looking insane. Lean back a little, Charlie. Boom. Gorilla chest, <laughs> thick ass abs, and we're gonna work on his posing right now. Hell yeah! Put it on the on the bug. All right, guys, look at the huge moth on Joe's car. It actually is very small on the camera. It's huge. <laughs> it's not moving. Then hey, grab it. Hey, grab it. No, but won't I kill it if I grab it? No, no don't I'm gonna, touch it. I'm gonna don't put my finger. It. I'm not. I'm just, look how no. big it is compared to oh my, my finger. That thing is. <laughs> oh, today, God. <laughs> Picked up a few monsters this morning. Uh, it's currently 7:58. Come on, there you go. 7:58 a.m. I'm listening to The Pulse and about to go into the warehouse. So we have a DHL meeting at 9.15 to confirm a few things, a few last minute imports, um, a few tons that are coming in, and then it takes me a lot of sorting. <laughs> a lot of sorting today, getting everything prepped up for this Sunday, the Alphalete launch at 10 a.m. Central Time. So that's Texas time, 10 a.m. Um, so excited, guys. So, so excited. So putting in that work and... Uh, this week, everyone's getting here at 8. Normally, it's 9, but everyone's coming in at 8 o'clock. And then um, next week, everyone's coming in at 8. And the following week, 8 o'clock. So for about a month, it'll be 8 a.m. instead of 9 a.m. But Danae just pulled up. So she is second place. She got here second. And then I know Tim and Derek are on their way. So um, check in with you guys soon. Right now, FedEx is bringing more of the uh, imports. We're here with Alex 
my friend. It's his birthday, so we're taking him out to lunch, uh, getting some sushi. Delicious. We're here at Japanero, so I got three shaggy dogs. With, uh, they put sriracha and like Japanese mayo on top, so I don't want that. So I'm scared. I'm gonna burn myself. How do you do this? Don't burn yourself. These are fried Oreos with ice cream. Fried Oreos. I've never had them. I always never had them. All right, our reaction to fried Oreos. Oh, is it good? Shit, man. That's good. It's delicious. We get a little bite of ice cream. Is it good? Damn. Right. Thank you. That was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10, <laughs> 11 out of 10. <laughs> all right guys, this is gonna conclude this, this. All right guys, that's gonna conclude this video. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all your support and I'll see you in the next video.